Note. While I'm being genuine in my feelings that this is the best macro slash Robotech game, I'm going to be tongue and cheek with these initial reasons. That said, that one can be so fun, fun, silly willy with some of the game options is another way this game is so enjoyable. Example 1, one can replay that epic moment when the SDF1 fought. The SDF1. And another SDF1. And a SDF1. Example 2, and who can forget, when Britty fought himself, and himself, while he fought himself, by launching Zentradi soldiers out of himself as missiles. Classic. Example 3, and when one is tired of macro slash Robotech, one can play Battletech using the original and CNS point, one can play City Tech with a Marauder, or use a Warhammer, or a Rifleman, or an Archer. The Phoenix Hawk aesthetically never fit Battletech. <laughs>
Example 4, or one can play a very scaled-down, ace combat-esque fighter plane only, non-transforming, combat game. Example 5, most of the Macro series battle scenarios can be played through. Including the original Macros, Robotech Macros Saga, the Macros movie which is a little different, Macros Plus, and Macros Second, technically not canon, that were released officially in English back in the day, Macros 7, and its OVA. Macros Zero, the prequel OVA, and Macros Frontier as well as its first movie. These three only recently got legal English releases. Example 6, there is a very large number of selectable vehicles as well as various armor slash super packs for the Valkyrie slash very tech fighters.
Example 7, and when one is tired of match action one can play a macro-themed visual novel. Wait, what? Well, if you can read Japanese well enough, which I can't. That said much of the game can be played without understanding Japanese. Almost forgot, seriously I almost skipped adding this, so which game is this? It is Macros Triangle Frontier, developed by Art Inc., and published by Bandai Namco. This was their third PSP Macros game. They also released a few Macros games for the PlayStation 3 and one for the Vita. Those games have better graphics but this one covers the most series and has the largest vehicle selection. And of course one can play as a Valkyrie slash very tech fighter, pilot. One even has a wingman that can be given orders. I originally was also going to go over how to play but decided to just release this, as is. If there is some real interest though I can put together a video going over the basic controls and the menu options that will get one into the action-centric game modes. VF1 Valkyrie, Strike Pack Sobi will be able to do it. I can do it with me.
成功だ心配はしてなかったわよあなたを信じてるんですもの。<笑><笑>